Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Canada's three greatest players ever in the World Junior Canada Tournament. This is based on just performance-wise, not actually how their careers went or anything like that. We're just going to be talking about their performance in the World Juniors. So, the first player we're going to be talking about is Jordan Eberle. Jordan Eberle put up 26 points, 14 goals, 12 assists in 12 World Junior games. And when Canada was trailing 5-4 to four to Russia in the semifinals, and with just 5.4 seconds left in the third period, Everly scored an electrifying game-tying goal that led them to overtime to win it, and they went on to win the gold medal. Everly had one of the most dominant performances at the World Juniors we've ever seen. He comes in at number three all time for best performance in the World Juniors. We all know what happened to Everly. Everly went on to have a mediocre career right now playing for Seattle, the expansion team. Obviously, he is a solid player, but nothing special. And this World Juniors was just crazy crazy for him so next up we're gonna be talking about the one the only Wayne Gretzky who as a 16 year old made the world juniors roster and put up 17 points in six games the Soviet Union ended up still winning gold despite Canada's shift in philosophy however Canada won bronze off a miraculous comeback over Czechoslovakia and Wayne Gretzky had an amazing tournament with 17 points in six games that's something you don't see every day and we know why it happened Wayne Gretzky is the greatest player of all time and had an amazing world juniors obviously at the time everybody knew he was going to be the next goat and he performed like it now moving on to player number one it is eric lindros yes you might not have expected that but eric lindros had the best world juniors tournament we've ever seen he was a six foot four 17 year old posting an amazing record of 10 2 and 2. in his first world juniors he was strictly a heavy hitting goal scorer he scored four goals second on team canada had zero assists and had 16 hits despite having no assists he still ranked six on the team in points which is impressive for a 16 year old who was two years younger than the next youngest player on the team in 1991 he really dominated he was named the forward of the tournament as he scored six goals and added 11 assists in seven games his final year in the world juniors was 1992 although he was fantastic with the team leading 10 points in seven games canada finished a measly sixth in the tournament which no complaints but obviously not his best performance he was a phenomenal player when it came to youth and the juniors and the world juniors he just he performed insanely but then when it came to the nhl he was hit so hard by injuries just threw away his whole career and don't get me wrong his career was amazing he wasn't a necessarily bad player it's just his career would have been so much better if he didn't suffer through these injuries in his career he had 865 points in 760 games which don't get me wrong that is a phenomenal career for anybody but he could have played over a thousand games and had such 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 a long career if he didn't suffer from those injuries and he did have a couple seasons that were really really good like his 73 game 115 point season that was absolutely crazy and even it came his next season he put up 79 points in 52 games which is still really good but you can tell he he just he couldn't 
get a full season in. And fun fact, he never played a full 82-game season. He made it to 81 with New York, but never a full 82-game season. But this is why we have to mention this guy. He was just so good in the OHL in juniors. He put up 149 points in 57 games in his draft year. Got drafted first overall to the Nordiques, who he said he wouldn't play for, so they traded him to Philadelphia, which worked out for both of the teams. But yeah, that's that's it for the video. So make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I changed my mic a little bit. I made it a little bit louder, so let me know if that's a positive difference or a negative difference. I just had somebody comment on my video and said my mic was really quiet, so thought I'd give it a try, bump it up a couple notches, and see how it goes. So, yeah, Cider Central, signing off. See ya.